My controller has turned off. Let's see, uh, let's just go ahead and get in the game first thing. So let's do the sink check. You know the drill. Jump. Jump. I might have said it a little late. Jump. Jump. Attack. It seems about right. Now let me see. Uh, let me let me see audio balance. Audio balance. Check. Checking. Check. Do the thing. Do the thing. Bob la ba dee below. Yeah, it seems about right. So gotta gotta switch. Got a revolve 360 degrees. My one regret about not having a webcam is that you guys don't get to see this ridiculous rigmarole that I put myself through every single time. Ow. I didn't actually hurt myself, but that's just the thing I have the reflex to say at the point of impact. So I'm saying it. I'm saying ow. Whether or not I was hurt. Whether I was hurt or not. Okay, so. Uh, mm, okay, so banjo. Okay, I, I know banjo. Okay, so banjo this time with much fewer jigsaw puzzles, but all, well, playable ones at least. So let's uh, head this way. Hmm. No, I think this is about as close as I can make the microphone. I don't know. Point it up just a little bit, maybe. Oh, we don't get to see what Grunty was going to say. Though, I, I have not encountered many sentences that start with, My belly's big, it's rather neat, and then end well. You know, I'm gonna scoot anyway. I'm a scoot anyway. I've done it. You you may not even know what I even did, but that's okay. No wait, this is a uh, which way? Which is the way to Blanker? I think I might know where. I think I might know where the empty jigs jigsaw, empty honeycomb piece is in this level. So I'm gonna go in there real quick and check. While I have a swig. Alright, camera control. It's hard to play and also have a swig. I'm gonna play with one hand. Mmm. Good swig. Luckily, this isn't the kind of game that requires maximum dexterity all the time. So I can get where I need where I need to go in here. Mm, hydration. Hydrangea. Okay, now I think it said you want to find like an exposed pipe. Like a Something like this right here, like something you can swim up through underneath, but not like that. Uh, 
Okay, so is there like a place that they can enter in this? Yeah, there we go. Sadly, there's only exit game, so I'm gonna have to go out of the level the hard way. Luckily, I have this robot shark. Well, maybe not even a robot, just this big metallic shark to tell me which is the right way out. And now we can make real progress, because the other one I'm saying I have neglected to look up. No idea where that one is, as of currently. But we're that much closer to another help piece. And I just- AND I JUST REMEMBERED WE'RE OUT HERE! And I just remembered, uh... I forgot what I remembered. <laughs> I was too busy quoting spooks, and then I forgot what it was that I was going to say. Somebody sure is a weeaboo. Alright. So, I think... The next place we're going is Gobi's Valley. Let's just, I don't know, let's just head that way, I guess. <laughs> also, uh, OBS has added a feature that makes, I, th I think they added it. I don't remember seeing it before at least, but I think they added a feature that makes it easier to put limiters on things. So I might end- <coughs> Whew. I might end up doing that just so the game- I might do that on the game just so it never like seriously overpowers me. I mean you still want a good balance so that the loud sounds and the quiet sounds aren't indistinguishable. Yeah, Gobi's Valley is open. Oh, and there's our good friend, Brentilda. Grunty's best friend at witch school was the awful Fatty Hattie. When relaxing, she usually reads Fat Hag Monthly magazine. While sipping a glass of her favorite cold worm juice. Oh, that's like a continuation of the last one. For a minute I was confused. Like, while while she's doing that, she likes to what? What does she do? Oh, while reading the magazine. Alright, last swig. Last swig. Bet you can't guess what this level's theme is. All right, there's a Jinjo right behind us. Right out of the gate. And uh, second best music in the game, if you ask me. Oh, do we have the shoes already? No, we're gonna get them here, I think. Oh, please stop making that noise. Okay, just, just eggs, it seems like. I mean, still good to have. Still good to have some egg. Trunker wants rain! Just. I'm shriveling up! How's your nuts, Bark Breath? Kazooie, will eggs and feathers help? No! <coughs> Need water! Help! Well, you're surrounded by it, my lad. But nonetheless, I will help you, because I have a feeling that you will reward me quite handsomely. Mm. 
We are in the desert. You can tell that sand is hot. What else would it be, truly? There's a lot to do in the desert. Such as, see that mumbo token over there. Hello, Miles. And hello, Langfin, because I don't think I said it. My nose is all blocked up. Well, we'll have to do something about that. How about filling it with more things? Hey, that tickles. Do I have to shoot it in the other one? Cleared Jinxie's nose. Come on in. But there's notes around here. And I want those notes. Okay, there's a one up over there, but I'm not in dire need of that. So I'm just gonna ignore that for right now. Alright, let's... Oh. Zahandu! Oi, Josuke! I'm in the desert! That's about it, really. Okay, we are in the tomb of Tutin Ramen Jimin Schlaffer, the famous and revered. Gotta hand it to you. Let me stock up on this egg. My comment got a heart from Raukow. What my phone is telling me. Oh, Jinjo! Jinjo! Mmm, Jinjo. Jinj. Oh. So, yeah, this is pretty much what this little section consists of. It's a feed, feed the old Egyptian dog pharaoh so that he will, uh, presumably make his carpet rise, which is not a euphemism. Luckily, you can just kind of go down, like, go down this way. Nothing really stopping that. Yeah, like I said, this is probably my second or third favorite music in the game. Also, there's this guy. Say hello to this guy. 
I mean, I, I like... He's, he's no David Wise, but I like I like Grant Kirkhope. He, he does Kirkhope music. And I Kirkhope he continues to do that. Oh, that's like a bug. A beetle. Check in the stream behind me real quick. But man, it's just like you you go into one of these Oh, there's the move. There's the move. You go into one of these levels and you're just like, oh, where do I go first? There's because the game's like, oh go wherever you want. And I'm like, where where? Beaky Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time. And I think that achievement means I have learned all the moves in the game. All right, so no more looking for moves. We are now capable of doing anything we set our mind to within reason. I'll go over there later. Well, at least is that the place I think it is? Yeah, I think it is. So I'm gonna go over there later and I will not tell you why yet. Yeah, this is one of those levels where you really just wanna be in Talon Trot at any given time. Banjo himself need not apply. There's that's a target. I think you gotta ram into that while you're flying. So let's check out what's over here. Grandma's got a chiggy. Nur nur nur. Man, why do I keep choosing to do these voices <laughs> for these characters? I mean, I guess what voice do you give a mummy hand? In my de in my defense, but like, why do I keep choosing these voices? Like, that's just like me running out of air. Like I'm in space and I haven't took a breath in like the past two hours. And that's the voice that I'm doing for this hand. Want these notes, want them good, want them nice. Look, if I gotta take damage for these notes, I will do it. Only we sand eels can survive in here. Okay. You know, you you don't really you don't really need to uh, justify the the lava being hot with sand eels, but you know, whatever. I I will I will accept it. But sadly I am only an eel. Okay, so here's what these do. Exactly what it says on the tin. So basically, you gotta get up there before the timer runs out. Or else you can't go in the hole. Grandy's race you cannot beat until you find some faster feet. Well, find the feet I certainly have, so, uh, you are a chav. Got him. Didn't get the switch though. So we're just gonna wait here. Because I wasted every single opportunity I've ever had in my life. Uh, I like I like that the timer uh, goes down while I'm in the cinematic. That that's fun. 
Oh, okay. I thought I was taking the big shortcut there. Okay, made it just in time. All right, so there's a tricky thing here that you need to make sure. You need to make sure you get this mumbo token. Now you may think, why is that? Well, as you'll see in a moment, once you get this jiggy, the water drains out of the room, which leaves you incapable of grabbing that mumbo token henceforth. So that's like one of the only things in this game you can just miss forever. But luckily I know about it, so you don't have to worry. <laughs> Alright, so, you might think, like, oh, what did that do? Well, it filled uh, the chasm down here with water. So now, we can swim around in the depths without worrying about whatever's down here. Now there is a flight pad in case you fall down here beforehand. But you know, you it's not really a good idea to go down here beforehand. So yeah, got some notes to get. <clears throat> I thought I already went around the thing by now. Okay, now I have. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh. So now we have created the oasis. Not not like uh, from, you know, that movie, Ready, Ready Player One Man. Not that one. Not like a, a regular oasis. Like an actual oasis, not like a metaphor. The voice sounds like it's trying to be Sammy Classic Sonic fan, but, but like, I'm too through puberty to do that voice. Alright, so, gotta wait for the carpet. Where, where's it coming from? Okay. Eh? Okay. I don't. I don't get why it disappears. Oh, that's cool. You know what? I just. I brute force. It's. It's too hard for Gobi. Uh, I don't. Need, I can't do a voice for him. I. There's no voice that I could possibly do for him that would fit the noise he's actually making. I'm just, I'm brute forcing it. I admit it. Oh, that's right. You you press this, but you gotta like rush to it. So I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna wait on that one. Ugh. Ugh. And I think you gotta. I think you gotta press that one to go inside this pyramid. The ancient temple.
Yeah, and then I go press, go press Bhutan. Yes, I know I'm right there. Do not worry. I'm. I have figured it out. All oh, right. Yeah, I remember. I remember. So can't I destroy you by doing? Yeah. Yeah, so that guy was gonna be a nuisance, so I just decided to get rid of him here and now. Okay, so we're playing a match game. Okay, that was it. Okay, don't know where Egg is. That was Jinjo. Okay, so Jinjo's over here. Haven't seen that so far. Okay, it's right there. Okay, Egg. Where was Egg? I think Egg was right here. Yep, yep, yep. Kazooie was here. No, that was Banjo. Nope. No, that's Kazooie. Feather. No, that's Banjo. Dang it. <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong ones. Okay, Banjo, Banjo. Feather. Feather. And then two Kazooies. You can probably, like, set it up to where that spawns right on top of you. Alright, so now then, let's just go ahead and press this. Okay, di didn't do it. Oh, okay, it's, it's not like a timed thing, you just have to remember it's over there. Okay, a couple more notes. I think something happens up here. Okay, let's do the flying mission. Or missions. No, wait, actually, we can go back down here now because I think we have what is needed. This tree looks a bit rushy. Oh, uh, well. I, I try. <laughs> oh, no, don't do the whole dialogue again. Okay. Oh, so we gotta like go on top of him some way or another. Okay, got it. Okay, now we do the flying thing. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> My Scooby is absolutely dreadful. Completely unsalvageable. Right, right, right. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Like you're not Scoob! Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. No, wait, where's the other ring? Okay. Nope, missed the token. Okay, so yeah, you get it, you just gotta like 
fly into it over here. Oh, okay. The fact that you're very not in control of your elevation proves a problem when trying to do things like that. Oh, there it is. There's the next one. Get in there. Okay, so that one's in the sand pit. But which one? I'm guessing this one over here. Maybe? No? This one over here? Yeah, it's over that way. But don't worry, I'm coming. And I'm pretty sure that those bird noises were used in, like, Ocarina or Majora, weren't they? Am I, am I just imagining that? Or is that real? Is that real, is that real fake news? Like between some cacti. Where is them? Where is them cacti? I did it! Uh, it was like the vulture noise, whatever it was. I'm sorry, but I cannot and will not uh, imitate the vulture noise. I apologize. That honeycomb is still there, which surprises me immensely. Only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. How dare you? How dare you play me this way? Okay, but we still have more flying things to do, such as hitting this target. And somehow missing it. Being like right right in front of it and missing it. Oh, oh, this is an entrance. I did not remember that. No, no, banjo, 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 banjo. No. Oh my god! Lois. Okay, we're in. We meet the snake charmer man as I am low on health and will certainly die in a matter of moments. Hello, my friend. I am Ruby. Can I be of some help? No? We're looking for a treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it. Yes. Again, I apologize for any racially insensitive content. Yeah, you gotta poop. You gotta poop the egg into the bowl. Ah, a thousand thanks. My friend Histop will not help you. With your quest. So we ride the snake. You know, snake charmer, we ride the snake. Snake mission complete. Need to find some health somewhere. I know, I know where some is. But it might be... Oh, well, there's some right there. Mm. 
not as big of a problem as previously thought. Nope. Nope, no bees. No bees. What the bee? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that reference. It is so cliche, yet I cannot help but make it. Okay, so let's let's head up this way now. Hello, friend. Oh, that's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. Okay. So I found both for once. And here's another stop and swap room. In the lair of Tutan Putin. I'm just kind of, I'm a little quiet, but I'm just kind of reveling in that joke that the game just made. Oh, okay. I'm dead. I'm perished. Okay, I'm not quite dead. Okay, so now there's a thing over here to do, I believe. Must feed him the egg. All the ancient pharaohs very uh, hungry for egg. Yeah, this is this is what you're supposed to do. That's how you actually get the mumbo token. For the record. Nope. Nope. Didn't mean that. Wasting all my golden feathers. Not a single golden feather spared. <laughs> is that just su is that super lenient, or do I just all of a sudden have godlike aim? guessing the former, all things considered. Man. Okay, so now the pyramid has revealed itself. Probably, you know, walk around here, get some more egg real quick. Which we do, we do need. Contrary to popular belief, we do need egg. Oh, and there's like a back exit entrance place thing. Johnson. Get in there. This is King Sandy Butt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. No. Oh. You chose not to heed our warning. Prepare to run. Prepare to die. In the tomb. And there's the witch switch up there. No, the bear survived. He's after the king's ancient relic. Okay, so I'm willing to bet 
Oh, well there was there was the ginger. Okay, so I'm willing to bet that's the exit. You know, just a quick exit. Oh, nice hieroglyph there. Never noticed that the first time I played. Okay, but as you saw, there. Oh. Oh, okay. You still die. You still. You still die. Okay. Well, I got all the things, so I just need to press the witch switch. Okay, and that opens up the the uh, casket thing. Also, uh, the Geek Critique just retweeted that I was streaming, so thank to thank you very much, Josh, for that. Really appreciate it. All right, so. Am I good here? Let's see. Yeah, all good. Moving on, I will be. I'm out of here. Okay, now... I forgot what's next, so you know, we'll just explore a little bit, we'll figure out what's coming up. I've learned this spell, it's really neat, I'll keep it later for your di- Oh, uh, your treat, uh, I, I preempted her, because uh, I thought it was going to be defeat. But foolish I truly am. The credit I should not have nicked, because Grunty is hard to predict. Okay. So. Where are we dropping, boys? I'm guessing we go this way, or we can go to the lava area, I suppose. There was a door that way I purposefully neglect. No, wait, it was. It was this way. It was this way. Oh, and we can get uh we can get the jiggy out here now, by the way. And I just remembered we can get the jiggy out here now. <laughs> oh, let me grab a couple of these. Stock up. Stock down. Stock all around. Uh. <laughs> okay, this. So yeah, we needed these shoes. Because otherwise... We can't make it there in time. So I think there's a couple things you can do with this. I think the first thing you want to do... Yeah, you want to break Grunty's eye there, even though I haven't done the thing where you actually do want to do that. So... So you can use that to get up here. Oh, and also, while we're here, you remember that Jiggy that we couldn't get? in Frizzy Peak. Well, you guessed it, now we can. So what, uh, let's just take a quick detour. Won't be but a minute. Won't be but a minute. We're just going on a quick errand. Yeah, another reason you don't ever want to not be in Talon Trot is because ice physics. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Fancy a race against Boggy? Press A to accept or B to chicken out. Okay, buddy. Here's the rules. 
run through the red drawn gate and try to beat me to the end. Let's do it. Three, two, one. So yeah, you basically need these boots in order to win this. Like, you see how fast he's going? You see this guy? There might be a way to do this without the, the boots, the shoes. But I do not envy anyone who tries, because it's definitely not going to be me. In fact, I'm struggling even with them. Even with the shoes, I'm falling behind. I'm getting tired of holding the stick. Can't let go of the stick. I'll make a popsicle out of you. Yeah, no offense, buddy. Took care of that, too. You know, I, I don't think I was nearly this scathing to Boggy when I first played the game. <laughs> but I'm just like, but during the stream, I'm just like, you absolute piece of polar bear garbage. How dare you? <sighs> You're a terrible man and a terrible father. Now be gone. I can't bear to look at you anymore. These snowmen have more character than you. And they're trying to pelt me with snowballs. Okay, so that's all we had to do here. You can also use the shoes to do the the mission back in uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp, but as I showcased, it's not nearly as necessary. You can uh, do the mission without, but it's much easier if you have the shoes. As I'm sure you can imagine. Nope, nope. Okay, so what was through this way again? Okay, so this was the lava zone. Was the place that it wanted me to go, was that up? What was up? I mean, is that where I went to unlock Gobi? I mean, you know, it's inevitable that I would get a little turned around in this place. I mean, I have played the game before, but I don't, I don't have it committed to memory or anything. So what was through here? Did I go through here yet? I don't feel like I did. There's a mumbo token. I feel like if I had gone through here, I absolutely would have gotten the mumbo token. fish for me today, thanks. I'm driving. Grunty admits she's a hog. I really need a big hot dog. Yeah, luckily I don't have that problem with Mario 64. But this game, absolutely. Like, you know, what goes where? I don't know. Okay, yeah, so there's definitely progress to be made here. I'm just checking. I think I thought I saw like an entrance to something, but I think I hallucinated that. Oh, given the music, I think we're going to Spooky Town next. Oh, I fell off. I fell off. Fell off of the platform. 
restream chat's not telling me how many people are in the chat, so I like that. Mad Monster Mansion. This is a pretty, that's a pretty cool level. I'm glad y'all get to see that one now. Oh, there's a mo- No! I forgot. And I threw it all away. That's not even a song, I just kind of made it up. It was like almost that song from Spongebob, but not quite. Oh. Get out of here. Yeah, Ecom Bokum, punk. You Ecomed in the wrong Bokum. So yeah, to Spooky Town we go. Also, spoilers, remember this room right here, because we do come back here later for a level. Not that, that that surprises you, I'm sure. But we gotta, gotta walk back, gotta walk back to the zone. Oh, no, don't wanna go in there. I wanna go down here, to the lava town country. Okay, y'all remember being in here. Being in Lava Town Central, that's where we unlocked Gobi. But now we must advance to Spook Town once again, except now that's actually where we're supposed to go. You know it's spooky because we got the organ playing. <laughs> get the get the note. These two guests are rather dumb. Let's make sure they're unwelcome. Mr. Bones. Now, I feel like there's something to this. But I don't remember what. Maybe it's something you gotta come back for. Napper while he's sleeping. I can hear someone down there creeping. Yeah, so that guy has a jiggy in him, and he won't let you have it as long as he's awake. So you gotta figure out how to get through here without making any noise on the creaky floorboards. I realize it's a little early for Halloween, but, you, but you're just gonna have to deal with it. Like some week school? This is where I should have done the boys school. Okay, another room. Oh yeah, and uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, so that painting right there is actually 
of Captain Black Eye, I think his name was, who was, I think, the villain when this game was completely different than it is now. Like, it used to be a pirate RPG kind of thing, and then it got turned into not that. Uh, back when it was called Project Dream. This game definitely turned into something very different than the initial idea. Oh. <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> I didn't know that was in here. Well, I, I mean, I guess we got that. <laughs> Spooky laughter. It's the spooky level, so I must laugh sp spookily throughout the entire thing. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound spooky. That's just me. Like, I got some kind of brain injury or something. some properly aged uh, liquor, I assume. Either way, we can't drink tonight. We're driving. Okay, so I know a funny story about this. I think uh, Grant Kirkhope said it during the Game Grump stream or something, but uh, hang on. Poop egg. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Grant Kirkhope apparently had to re record that line a whole bunch of times because Nintendo didn't believe that he was saying thank you and not, uh, fuck you. So, <laughs> that's a fun story. Thank you. I mean, in, in, in all fairness, R Rare absolutely would have done that, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I mean, this time it was... I, I had the excuse of it being an educational story. I'm educating you that Rare is weird. Yeah, so there's, I think, a Jiggy that can be gotten through this. Yeah, and there it is, right there. Okay, yeah, that's the secret window. I keep thinking that there's going to be something in these rooms, like there's going to be a prize. Okay, and the bat got me. It could go that way, but uh... We could also explore here a little bit more, if the camera will cooperate with me. The Nintendo 64 era camera on this Xbox 360. God, the whole rare buyout from Microsoft thing just put put all these games in such a weird spot. I mean, I'm not trying to like demonize anybody, but it's just like we're playing a Nintendo 64 game on an Xbox 360. What the heck, man? It's just a, such a weird spot to be in. 
Also, there's mum mumbo. Speaking of mumbo. I need that. Ah! I played myself right off of that edge. And yet, Jiggy up here. Yeah, so I do. It was kind of implied by the uh, story itself, but yes, I do believe that that is Grant Kirkhope as the voice of the pot, so the more you know. He also voiced Donkey Kong in Donkey Kong 64. So every time you hear DK go, okay, that was him. Yeah. Yeah, I think when I played this level originally, I didn't know that you could just kill those guys by golden feathering into them. That's good information to know. I do declare. So you got all the horror staples here. Well, maybe not. I, I haven't seen any like David Lynch kind of stuff yet. haven't gone to the Black Lodge just yet. I say that, but I totally could believe that Rare would do an homage to Twin Peaks as part of a level. I could see it. I could, I could see like a, a level where Banjo goes through the Black Lodge. Uh, this is my cousin, but wouldn't you say that she looks just like Laura Palmer? Nope, no. Oh, and when there's like a mumbo, a mumbo token down here. Anybody here ever watch Twin Peaks? Is that just me? I mean, I'm totally fine making references that no one will get, but I would like to know if no one gets them. Actually, I don't really care. Just do whatever. I don't know, man. I don't know why I'm talking about Twin Peaks now. I mean, I know it's like, I guess, because it's like horror kind of thing, but... I don't know. I blame the heat again. I blame my incoherent dialogue on Twin Peaks to be the heat. Oh, is there another one? Okay. Egg on the toilet. Listen, I I know how it is to leave an egg in the toilet, but this is a bit silly. But wasn't there another uh, window over here? The glowing windows are the ones you can break. Before anyone asks, I, 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 no, I, I don't think anybody actually says, uh, leave an egg in the toilet. I don't think that's an actual term. Also, uh, very, 
good collision on this. But as you can probably tell, we can't actually get that right now. But we must scale the mansion. I said we must scale the mansion. What's in this one? Oh, okay. There, there isn't actually one in there. You have been played. Here's the bed. The bedroom. Very lovely. I mean, sure, it's big enough, but look at the location. Oh, okay, you gotta use this. I'm not sure if there's a way to open this chest or what. Kill this guy. No? Uh, get the honeycomb stuck in the ceiling. Heck yeah. Chest might just be for show. A surprising amount of Jinjos collected. Okay, there's a window right there. But I want to get these notes first. You know what really ticks me off, though? Like, I, I watched, like, two seasons of Twin Peaks, and now... Uh, they've made a third one, but it's like on HBO only. And I, I, I can't afford to get HBO. But I, but at the same time, I, I want to watch it. I mean, I guess I could, uh, you know, I, I suppose if I was really so inclined, I could, um, I was hoping there was a picture of Captain Black Eye in here so I could do a funny visual gag, but there's not! Okay, so we made it to the top. Yeah, so we are spawned in the fireplace. And you may notice that there are chairs. As long as we don't hit the creaky floorboard. Grunty's gold! How it's shown! She'll be mad! Now it's go- gone! Yes, I'm mad! My boot I'll put! Up your useless spooky boot! <laughs> that is pretty, uh, that is pretty go good. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I already have, uh, the first three on DVD, and those are the only three I really care to watch. Alright, so we're now done in the mansion as regular Banjo. I am leaving absolutely no subtlety as to what I mean by that. Absolutely no subtlety whatsoever. Okay, now we're gonna go into, uh... Gonna go into my house. Yeah, this is where I'm streaming from. That's why all the lights coming from it. Got every light turned on all at once. So we got to do another letter puzzle. Gotta 
spell out Banjo Kazooie again. This camera angle, not good for it. Yeah, the whole bit about this being my house, I had like an idea there, you know, for a joke, but it, it didn't really work out and it just kind of ended up being some kind of weird non sequitur. I mean, granted, you know, I, I make weird non-sequiturs. I do that too, but I mean, if I'm going to make a weird non-sequitur, I at least want it to be on purpose. But sometimes I can be incoherent not on purpose. This is... this is true. I usually blame the heat for it. Summertime just makes my brain go right down the toity. <laughs> There's a bug. There is a bug right in my face. Is there anything over there? There's like the waiting boots. Don't know if I need those right now. Dang, of all the times that the Geek Critique retweets my stream and it has to be this one. Go figure. Go figure, eh? Luckily for me, it seems to have attracted no people to the stream. Good. Nobody has noticed. Nobody has noticed that I have done all this weed. I mean, the heat. That's what I meant to say. Th this is the worst place ever. Oh, no, go down. No, sir, I don't like the tentacles. No, sir, don't. Oh, no! Ah, I'm in a chain of pain! <laughs> the pain is in your anus! And I realize that that, uh, that reference can easily be misheard as something quite dirty, but I made it anyway. So what you gonna do about it? I mean, I don't know, it might have been dirty and I misheard it. But I think mine is funnier. No offense, but, but uh, you should be incredibly offended. Yeah, if, uh, if I was playing the original version of the game, that would have been a lot of work down the drain. To, uh, get these notes back. I mean, the jiggies I would, I would still have. God, the hitboxes on these are just super unforgiving. Get that, get, get in the bucket, get in the bucket, get in the bucket. That's a big bucket. 
I mean, I mean, I can. I, I'm not gonna judge. I, as, as I can, I can attest. Sometimes you just have a big thirst. Sometimes you just need all the water. And there's a ginge up there. Nope, nope. And wow, we already got all the gingos. And don't think I don't see that in there. I don't know if this will hurt me. Oh, uh, well, I guess it doesn't. I didn't know you couldn't use that. I mean, I guess it makes sense you can't use that in the water. But I, did, I still didn't know it. Okay, let's go. Gotta rush. Gotta rush in there. Gotta rush in there. Yes, comrade. I'm going into the citadel. Man, geez, talk about a shameless ripoff, The Last Impact. I can't believe that Rare just had the gall to steal straight from Kaze Amon Amonuar. Get down here. I don't have time for your nonsense. Okay, yeah, there we go. Woo. Again, kind of needlessly oversized. Also, possibly not possible to fit in the building we saw outside. Oh no, I'm dead. No, I'm not. I'm not dead, but uh, I'm not in good shape. Oh. Okay, exactly one note on each pew. Just for maximum tedium. Pardon me. Okay, there's a beehive over there. Beekeeper hive. Bee house. Got a platform up a piano. <laughs> Mozart plays his organ with ease, but can you follow him on the keys? I'm pretty sure all these are the same note. What kind of music is this? Not bad, bear. But now watch me. Copy this tune and amazed I'll be. It's not hard, you just gotta, you know, press the same key like five times. Not the game's best mission. Your 
music skills are mighty fine, so take this golden piece of mine. As soon as I find the way up there, I'll do it then. I will dare. Oh no. I've fallen off the piano. Get, get up there. Okay, how do, how do, how, bug? Oh, I can climb on the book. That's good. And there's a one up back here. Cause you know, I've been dying all the time in this, in this game. We're getting close to having everything, but we still gotta do the transformation with Mumbo yet. But we're not done in here yet. Gotta go over to the flight deck. Constantly forget how to move the camera. That is the, the most important part. There's one of them. There's one of them. Nope. Nope. Refusal up. But bug, please. I implore you. Any other time but now. Okay. Yeah. See, there it is. There's the thing. Ah, that might just be that. That might be it up here. Worth it for a shortcut, I think. <laughs> Gotta, you know, stretch out my limbs a little bit. Okay, let's, uh... Let's go meet Mumbo. Yeah, there's always something with his hut, I feel like. There's always something hidden nearby. Yo, my man. My man! What's up? Hang on, let me snoop around your house. Real quick, make sure you're not holding out on me. Aha, a golden feather. What are you doing with that? You, well, I guess you do have feathers. Okay, I'm a pumpkin. Ah, mumbo proud of pumpkin spell. Make good soup. You got a sick tw and twisted sense of humor, you know that? You know that, wizard? Okay, oh god, I forgot to open up. Oh, no, wait. The oh, the windows got unopened. Which means that everything I have fought for is for naught. Well, uh, while we, uh, while we're here anyway, before I go to open up the thing, oh, there's a tombstone chasing me around. I don't think the tombstone is supposed to kill you. I think that's kind of, like, that usually happens after the fact. But yeah, you can become pumpkin. You can go in here. Mumbo is in here. He can turn you back. So what was it I needed to do in here? Stop! Stop! Oh, okay. You can change the water level. And as you can see, that is where we were before. Can get some good things going with that. Okay, so turn back into pumpkin.
Oop, oop, nope, no, please. And there's also one other thing we can do out in the lava area. If we feel so inclined. Which I do. I keep I keep leaving when Grunty's got things to say. Better not fall in the the lavados. La okay, but it doesn't turn me back into bear. I can try again. The light, the lighting effects really do not help here. Makes everything blend in nice and murky like. Just thread the needle. Just thread that needle. the spell book you have found magic cheats I have for you which lost book finders barren bird are spell they get we sure do bag lady come on book boy give us the spells only one spell Cheeto can tell enter the code red feathers on sandcastle floor in treasure trove cove world help you it will <clears throat> hidden in lair other spell books are them you should find okay so we have that going for us now but we're not going to enter that just yet Now I gotta head all the way back. Oh, believe me, Miles, HD doesn't make it too much better. When the lights are dim, it's hard to see. Pain in the butt. This challenge says me. My rhymes are forced, I will not lie. I guess I better just go and not make any more. You can go in here. Oh, all the notes. Gotta go back to Mumbo, though. Where's he at? Where's he at, that son of a, son of a gun? Wizard. Wizard. Yeah, since I died, the windows have been reset, so I have to go up the mansion and re-break them all. It's not gonna be a fun time, but it's gonna be a, a time. Ah, oh, what are you? Are you joshing me? You, you joshing me right now? All right, we're taking the long way. Gotta take the long way around.
This task I'm doing, I will confess, makes me want to die. Nope. 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 I better kill that bat. Because Pumpkin cannot defend himself. <laughs> oh lord, good thing I got the extra big health. No, 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 no! have consequences. Yeah, if, if a restream chat is to be believed, then right now I have zero viewers. Which, I mean, probably should be correct with the kind of commentary I am dishing out. Okay, come on. I don't think... Oh, did I go through both of these? I don't think uh, Pumpkin can get up here. But just on the off chance that I'm stupid. Yeah, no, actually, Pumpkin... I'm pretty sure Pumpkin can totally get up here. Because I see that pipe. Okay. Now for real. Let's do it for real. And break this from the correct side don't know why you gotta come at it from that side but you do yeah, you, just, you just gotta you gotta play their silly game no banjo we're not trying to get into a tussle with mumbo as tempting as I am as tempted as I am oh cool we got it um, spell went wrong. Mumbo's loincloth all dirty. You wash? <laughs> yeah, that's like a an Easter egg that happens sometimes. Is sometimes Mumbo will turn you into a dishwasher instead of what you're actually meant to be. So, wait a minute, how... How does a pumpkin get up there? Which, I mean, I guess there's uh, one of these that I can go up. A dishwasher that... Yeah, it's a washing machine. D dishwasher, you know, all, all the same thing. Wash device. Oh, I remember. I remember now. Pumpkin, Pumpkin can climb up the mansion, but um, he can't take as direct a route as Banjo can. You have to get a little, uh, you have to get a little spicy with your. Uh, no, no, no. I remember. It's this way. You gotta get a little spicy with your path. A little bit of a puzzle. Not an overly complicated puzzle, but I might call it a puzzle if I'm feeling so generous. Yeah, so you'll remember there was a ramp over this way, if I recall. Oh, no, wait. No, that wasn't... Here? Can you not? I thought you could. Hmm. Okay, so maybe it's not that. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm stupid. Okay, uh, camera. Oh yeah, you gotta go through here. And then you gotta climb up this way. 
Okay, so then you can get on top of the hedge. And you can go to the mountain, mountain, the mansion from this way. Yeah, I think, I think I'm losing my mind. To what extent I still had a mind, at least. Yeah, so, you remember we were down here, Pumpkin can go underneath the floorboards. And recover the squeaky boots. As my leg dies a little bit. Don't worry about it. Alright, so... What, you mean you didn't think we were going to do this? You didn't think we were going to go down the toilet? As a pumpkin? And step in the poop? I can't believe you went in there! Now wash your hands, you filthy bear! That's like, I think, the best joke in the game. Not just getting flushed down the toilet, but the fact that, um, you've done something so disgusting that even Gruntilda is appalled. Okay, so I think that's everything. Let's see. Mm, yeah. How long have I been going for? Oh cool, Malware Bites is in the way. I can go a little bit longer. I don't know if I'm gonna do another level, but... I don't know if we're gonna do another level tonight, but... I can at least go to unlock the next one. But first I gotta go back to the wizard. <laughs> this gnat is getting on my nerves. But joke's on you, Nat. You only got a good, like, 20 minutes tops left. Then I will be able to, uh, destroy everything. That is Nat-related. Okay, so I gotta go back to normal. And then gotta leave the level like we always do. I keep forgetting that it's spelled Gnat. Like what? Like what does the G? What does the G do? Why G? Like, why opossum if we're not gonna say the O? Why not just spell it possum? And, and why p pterodactyl? Why? Why did you set me on fire, Spongebob? Okay, where now? Oh, well, well, first I gotta get the jiggy that's in Gruntilda's eyeball. Ha ha ha! Me preempting the snowman, a uh, bad bit or worst bit? I forgot to read Grunty's line. I'm sure you'll forgive me.
No. No, 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 Yeah, like how they used to pronounce it Kmart, and now they just pronounce it Mart. Actually, they don't pronounce it anything, because I'm pretty sure Kmart is either out of business or going out of business. So now you just call it... Dang old millennials killing Kmart. Yes. Okay, so... I mean, I'm guessing since we have changed the water, we can now go up to that other area. Roo, roo, roo. I've unlocked the fast travel, but like never ever used it. Oh, there's, there's something up there, yeah. Nah, leave me alone, mine. I've got this skirt, so when I'm thinner, it really makes me look a winner. I I swear, my voice for Gruntilda is like slightly different every time. It, it's never the same voice twice. you wanted a stream that didn't make you die, you should have watched some other guy. Oh, hello, pot. Okay. Quick travel, fast travel. Oh, there's nothing down here. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna try and find a... Uh... Yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, and there's a path over there. Yeah, so I think we gotta raise the water, go over there, so we can do something in this area. We're we're approaching the end of the game. The end of the game. I I might have misspoke there. But we're we're getting there. All right, Rusty Bucket Bay will be the next one. And that's uh, right back there. It's right back there, don't you know? But we have a couple more things we can do before we close it off. Where's the exit? Where's the exit? There it is. We can go down this way. What's down this way? I don't remember. Oh, and we gotta enter the cheat code. We gotta enter red feathers. Okay, I think we gotta, like, re-lower it. Or, like, that's the other room. Like, yeah, that's where we unlocked Mad Monster Mansion, I think. So, I don't know, this, this place down here might just be for world building. Building the world. Okay, so we'll enter the cheat. And then that probably will be it. Let's use the quick travel. We got it. I haven't been using it. I probably should be using it. That being said, it's not always clear to me where the quick travel is going to take me quickly. Could take me anywhere.
Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we're in here now. So, unlike the other codes, the ones that Cheeto gives you, I know that's not like the snack Cheeto, as delicious as that would be. Did I go down here? I think I did, yeah. Yeah, I, I, def I definitely did that. What was this? Was this, uh, yeah, boots, boot room? Very stinky, you'll have to wear them all day. Okay. Hmm, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, yeah, I'm already full. Full of health, full of dreams. Okay, don't worry, we'll get there. Won't be long. Ahoy, Sponge! <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just- I'm, I'm not gonna do that bit again. Don't worry. I like that because of the fact that you can, uh, enter the codes- Oh, good night, Miles. Because of the fact you can enter the codes here, you just- you just keep going. You just keep going back here. But yeah, uh, the cheat that Cheeto gives you is an actual upgrade, not like an actual cheat code. It's weird that they play it off like a cheat code, but it's actually an upgrade. And given the name, I'm sure you can guess what it is I'm upgrading. Dang crap. Yeah, so... Yeah, so now we have double the amount of red feathers that we used to have. Which is a, a very useful thing, I would say. Anyway, I, I suppose we're all getting a little, you know, drained at this point. I'm, I'm a little bit, you know, Miles has already gone off to bed. Your, your, you know, Langton is British. So, you know, it's probably a good idea to stop here, even if we're a little bit under. Just to make sure it saved everything. Uh, thank you. And hopefully, you... Bleh, you see the... Bleh, 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 bleh. Hang on. Brain is computing. Hopefully I see you next time on the next Banjo stream, which might end up being the last one, and if not that, probably the semi-final one. Uh, the game's not too long. I mean, it's a pretty respectable length, probably comparable to Mario 64. But yeah, uh, probably will be over within the next one or two streams, so just be ready for that. Oh, oh, my leg.